So in this video, I'm going to go over these more advanced options here that I skipped in the last video. All right. So we're going to skip a lot of the other stuff that we went ahead and went over. We're going to skip all this custom stuff. I want you to actually go, go in and be able to see these different things that you can do here. So you can set an expiration time for your link if you want. So you're just going to click and set on the date and time that you want it to expire. So if I want it to expire at this link at this particular time and this particular time zone, then once it's that time, then either it's going to give the user a message that it's that the link has expired or it can redirect them somewhere else. So you can choose to now redirect them somewhere else because your link is actually expired. All right. So that's how the expiration date works. If you want to go in and set an expiration date, you're just going to pick a, a date and time. So you're just going to pick from the calendar a date and from the clock of time, you're going to pick a time zone, the time zone that you want this to refer in. And then you're going to go in and just give, if you want an optional URL where it's going to redirect to after the expiration date. So that's how that works. So now we're going to go through the schedule. The so schedule is really, really easy. All right. So you can essentially go in and put schedules on your links. So if it's Monday, you can redirect them to a link on Monday. If it's Tuesday, they can go to a link on Tuesday. If it's Thursday, they can go on Thursday. Anything that you don't fill out here, if you don't fill something out, it's just going to it's just going to default to the actual URL that you put up here. Okay. So if you fill every one of these out, then basically if you fill everything one of these out, it's never going to go to this link up here. It's going to go every Monday to here, every Tuesday to here, every Wednesday to here, every Thursday to here, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Now the only way you can override these is by a special schedule. So you can go in and put a special schedule and you can say, you know, on this particular Friday, I want you to go here and you can do that for multiple dates. So you could go in if you want for the rest of the calendar year and you can pick, you can go in and actually pick uh, all the holidays and you can, you, you can pick different places for it to go based on that actual holiday. All right. So if you want to go for every single holiday, you can go for every single holiday and say, hey, on this date, go here. And you can do that for the entire year and just fill that up. You can even use other short links and you can go in and edit those short links. You can have a, a short link for, you know, your your Christmas or your your Easter and then automatically now anywhere you share that link on the Internet, whenever it's this particular day, they'll go to the right place. Um, and if it, it, so we'll first check this special schedule. And if we don't find a link to find on the special schedule, then we're going to default back to this schedule here for every single day. And if there's no URL here, then we're finally going to default back to this actual URL. So hopefully that, that makes sense. And you can use this to have different pieces of content. Um, you can go in and essentially share motivational content on, on Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays. And I can actually show you how you can create a whole content delivery system through this by using one of our other links, a, a rotator link, where you can create a, a Monday rotator and a Tuesday rotator and a Wednesday and a Thursday and a Friday, et cetera. And then you can essentially fill those rotating links up with, you know, 10, 10 pieces of content or 20 pieces of content at a time. And then you can just share only this link right here on, on the internet and you can let people know, Hey, you just go here every day for, for tips on this on Monday or Tuesday on this. And they just always click the same link. And on Tuesday, they'll go to this Tuesday link. And if that's a rotator link, it's just going to rotate through, you know, all those pieces of content that, that you have. And you can just go in and fill those lo rotator links up in, in, with content. And then what you have is you have a content delivery system that delivers content on different subjects every single day of the week. And you just go in and actually update those rot rotators. Very, very useful. And you can see, hopefully, how you can get so creative with what you're going to do with your content links. And remember, one of the great things about Link Wizard is you can come back and you can edit your links anytime you want. So you're just going to share them once on the internet. And then once you share them on the internet, you have full control over where your traffic gets directed to just by going on Link Wizard and reconfiguring your link and changing your link. All right. So the last thing that we're going to do here is we're going to go over the geolocation. 
And the geolocation is, is really simple. You can see right now I have allow all on. And if I don't want the, if I don't want the Russians to, to be able to go to my link, I can just block them and save changes. And now they can't go to my link, all right? If I want these Chinese people over here, if I want them to go to a special page, then I can send them to a special page, all right? And then now you can see that essentially I've got people allowed and I, I've got people, uh, I've got people that are blocked and I can continue to do that. I can go in for each and every country and I can, I can block them or I can um, redirect them to a different place. Or if I wanna go the other route, I can go in and actually deny everybody and I can say, hey, only these guys right here do I wanna allow. I only want traffic from, I only want traffic from the United States and the United Kingdom. These are the only people that I actually wanna target. So I'm only gonna allow these guys, everybody else I, I want to block, all right? So you can go in and you can restrict things just like that, all right? But you can only use one of these at a time because it would be really, really tricky if you decide to use multiple of them, the logic that goes in. So you can only use one at a time, all right? So now you understand all these special advanced features here. And the last thing I wanna go over is just the password. I want you guys to actually re remember this password here. And we're gonna go in and create a link with the password. And I'm gonna give it one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's gonna be my password. And then I'm just gonna shorten this URL, all right? So now that I've actually shortened this URL, I'm gonna copy this URL. And then I'm going to go to that. Uh, I'm going to go to that URL, and then you're going to see this is a password protected link. And now it's actually asking me for a password. I'm going to put in one two three, and it's going to tell me that's an incorrect password. So I'm going to put in one two three four five six, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in that password, and it's going to validate the password. And then it's actually going to redirect. But notice it's telling me that this URL is actually not accessible inside my inside my country. So now I can just go back and like I said, that's the beauty, the beauty of Link Wizard. I can just go back and I can, uh, I, I can just go back and I can update that URL. And then I can just go to that URL and now I can allow my country to go in and visit this URL now. Like I said, that's the beauty of Link Wizard. You can just go in at any time and you can edit your links and you can update your links and you can change your links at, at any time you want. So you can rest assured that you can just share this content now. You can share this these links on your Facebook profiles and your social profiles and your in your posts and comments on other people's posts. You can share them in your emails, you can share them in your chat bot, you can literally share these links anywhere you want on the internet. You can pixel people and create custom audiences and you have full control. You can see the analytics and we're gonna get over this. We're gonna go over this in a later video, but you can see the analy analytics of everything. And uh, the, the most important thing is anytime you want to change where people are going and redirect traffic to places, you can go back in and you can just edit your link and you can change how that link behaves now. So now you know all these extra advanced options in the short link and you should, should be now well equipped to create really, really powerful short links. So in the next couple videos, we're gonna go over um, some analytics on your short links and, and how, to, how to understand those and some other useful information. And then in the next videos after that, we'll go through these other link types and how you can create